What's going on guys? It's your boy John and Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looks like Christy Sides and Caitlin Clark goes in about the Kennedy Carter situation. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Indiana Fever definitely pulls off a huge win at their home court today against Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky. Many people have picked Angel Reese and Camila Cardosa to dominate the Fever, but it looked like Christy Size has definitely got this defense together by picking up their second win of the season. Now, what stood out in this game is none other than Kennedy Carter taking a huge, dirty shot at Caitlin Clark and people around the world is furious. Kennedy Carter refused to answer questions with the media. Let's roll that foot. Before bumping in with Caitlin, it seemed like she she turned to you a little bit um, yeah. after the after the fever score. I answered no Caitlin Clark questions. Did she say anything to you? I don't know what she said. That was Kennedy Carter refusing to answer questions about Kaylee Clark. When it comes to Indiana Fever head coach Christy Sides and Kaylee Clark, they're singing a totally different tune. Guys, let's check out that footage right now. Gave up the fewest amount of points um, this season. So, yeah, just connected and, and active. Uh, really talked about moving on the flight of the ball. Like on the pass, we move. And you stay as low as the ball. We, we did a much better job of that. You've needed to put Liz back in the starting five with Temi out these last two. What stood out to you about how she's been able to step right in seamlessly and hit the ground running? Yeah, just really, really Her, proud. Um, you could just tell the relief. Like, Liz came out before really even saying anything. She's like, we won. Uh, right. What was it like in just the locker room after the game, those moments to, especially being at home and be able to celebrate? Yeah, I'm just so happy for the players. I mean, like I said earlier, like these guys just keep showing up and going to work. And it went our way tonight. But it, they they were the reason. They stepped up on the defensive end of the floor, all of them. Um, you know, we've been giving up so many threes every game. I think we had two tonight. So just, you know, their attention and detail and focus on this end tonight was was uh, was why we got that this win. They had that. said when they were up here that they were just tired of talking about being better defensively. Have you felt that from them in the previous few days leading up to this game? They were tired of they talking were, about they it. They were tired of talking about it, so they just came out and did well, it. Well, we're going to continue to talk about it because it worked, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll keep talking about it. We'll talk about it tomorrow, but, you know, before we play uh, New York. Uh, I'll stop talking about it when they get a little bit more consistent with it. <laughs> I think, James, you want to go ahead? or That's funny. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about it even more now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Chrissy, what do you think of just the play Aaliyah Boston had against Camila Cardosa, a game on the line, and she has that moment? What do you think that does for just for the only got hit it on Caitlin in the third quarter? What do you think of the play, and have you had any conversations with officials or even Caitlin herself about how to handle moments like that? Yeah, I'm just really proud of her for not reacting. You know, that was a moment, you know, she's a competitor, and she, she kept her cool, and I am so, you know, that's exactly what she needed to do in that moment in this game. It was a tight game. Like, we didn't need to, take, you know, but she handled it amazing. You know, I'm going to go back and look at it. I'll probably send it into the league. That's what we keep doing. We just keep sending all these clips into the league, and they keep telling us why we're not right about our calls but or what we think. But we're going to keep doing it. These guys are going to start getting calls. They've got to start getting calls. Chloe. So I'll call on Annie. Annie, hold on. Chloe, go ahead. Um, I was just going to ask, you've talked a lot about having those close games last year. You lost a lot of them last year. Just what does it mean to be able to pull out a one-point victory early this season? Chloe, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just keeping it. Just a win with what our players have gone through and our team has gone through with this schedule. Just to get this win at home. The crowd was amazing. I mean, the the possession where Erica Wheeler and Kelsey had the, you know, the tip pass – the place erupted. I mean, that just gives you so much juice. It's really exciting. You know, these guys are going to stick with us if we keep playing hard, keep putting, you know, keep getting wins. We're going to get some practice time when we come back from New York, which is going to be huge. And rest. We're going to get rest. It was a reviewable play. Chrissy, yeah. Caitlin said she's gotten to the point where she's accepted those are going to happen. But what needs to be better done to protect her? To Because we've seen those game in and game out right now. trying not to get fined. <laughs> um, we're just going to keep 
sending these possessions to the league and these plays, and hopefully they'll start, you know, taking a better look at, at, at some of the things that we see happening or we think is happening. Um, just more happy that Caitlin handled it the way she did. She, you know, it's tough, you know, to keep getting hammered the way she does and to not get rewarded with free throws or, you know, just a foul call. Like she's, she's continuing to fight through that. And that's what, you know, appreciate that from her. Really, really proud of her for doing that. Alexa, then Alexa. Christy, nine and two run to end the first half. How did you guys carry that momentum into the second, especially because Kelsey had seven of those points? We saw the play in the third quarter where Carter kind of decked you. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to that and stay within yourself when maybe you weren't expecting that? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but I think it's just like, just respond, come down, let your play do the talking. It is what it is. Um, it's a physical game. Um, go make the free throw and then execute on offense. And I feel like that's kind of what we did, but, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Melissa, you said the other night you just went That away. was Christy Size and Caitlin Clark sending record straight about the incident between Kennedy Carter that took place late in this game. Christy Size, let it be known. She's just going to keep taking footage to the league until something is done about this whole situation. Now, Indiana Fever general manager Lynn Dunn opened up about this situation on Twitter moments ago. This is what she had to say about the incident. Let's pull it up. She stated there's a difference between tough defense and and unnecessary targeting actions. It needs to stop. The league needs to clean up this crap. That's not who this league is. She is fed up with these women targeting Caitlin Clark because I got to let you know, it is exactly what is happening. Caitlin Clark is being targeted by these WNBA players as clear as day. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out.